Hi guys, my name is Chad Montgomery. I am one of the owners of Civil Pour. We are a coffee and beer bar in Dallas, Texas. And today I'm gonna to teach you how to brew coffee at home. All right, so the first thing we're gonna get started with is your tools. Uh, obviously you're gonna need some fresh whole bean coffee, preferably, something that's not already ground. Uh, this is gonna be some filtered water that we're gonna use for our brew. Uh, this is just a standard drip coffee maker. This is a Mocha Master, so it does uh, look fancy. Uh, the one thing you want to look for on your brewer is this, this gold sticker. This is the uh, Specialty Coffee Association certification. You can get anything from uh, about a hundred dollar drip maker from Bonavita all the way up to one of these nice fancy looking guys called the Mocha Master. Uh, the SCA certification, all that means is that they've certified that the, uh, the water element, the heating element on the inside will keep your water at a consistent temperature of around 200, 195 degrees. Most of the commercial, or excuse me, uh, residential coffee brewers out there are going to brew in that 175 to 180 degree range. And if they don't have this certification, you're just not going to get all the flavor out of the coffee that you want. Uh, obviously, you're going to want a kitchen scale so that you can measure. Uh, coffee is coffee brewing is a lot like baking in that everything is an exact measurement. So make sure you've got your kitchen scale that measures in grams, and you're going to need a grinder. Uh, I've got the Barazza Virtuoso. This is my favorite uh, home grinder for about $200. If you want an entry level grinder, there's some nice options uh, on Amazon starting at around $40. You want to make sure that you buy a burr grinder. Uh, the blade grinders don't grind your coffee in a consistent manner, so you're going to get big pieces, small pieces, and you're not going to get the coffee tasting nice and smooth the way that you want it. All right, so let's jump into it. The first thing you're going to want is you're going to want to figure out how much coffee you want to brew. So let's say you want 30 ounces of coffee. An easy calculation is to take that 30, multiply it by 1.6 to 2.0. And that's going to tell you how much coffee in grams that you're going to want to brew with. So if we're on the high end of that, that's 60. And on the low end of that, 30 times 1.6, uh, that's about 48 grams. So somewhere in that range, you're going to want to be uh, in terms of your coffee dose. All right, so let's get into it. Um, today, I am going to brew this Sumatra from Novel. This is called a honey process. It's just the way that they process the coffee at the, at the farm. And a honey processed coffee is gonna give you lots of honey character out of the coffee. Uh, it's a unique way of processing. Super, super delicious. So I'm gonna get out my bean hopper from my grinder. I'm gonna zero out the scale and let's measure. I probably get enough for two brews in here. So for me, I've got uh, 31.5 grams of coffee. I'm gonna work my way backwards on this. There are actually two ways to calculate your coffee ratios. Don't wanna to get too complicated. Uh, if you're dealing strictly in grams, uh, I find that easier. Some people like to deal with ounces. Uh, for me, uh, you want to be in that, well, the Specialty Coffee Association recommends a ratio of one part coffee to 15 parts water uh, or one part coffee to 17 parts of water. So somewhere in that range. So I'm going to use 16. So I'm going to take the 31.5 grams that I have. I'm going to multiply that by 16. It gives me 504 grams of water. So here's what we'll do. I'm going to take my coffee carafe. I'm going to zero out my scale again, and I've got my 504 grams of water going in. Five sixteen, close enough. Now, if you don't know about the water in your house and what that what that looks like. You want to make sure you're, you really want to make sure you're using some kind of filtered water. If you've got a filtered water from your fridge, you know, that'll work just fine. Or if you've got a Brita pitcher, something like that. But you definitely want to make sure you're filtering your water because if the water doesn't taste good, the coffee's not going to taste good. So we've got our water loaded in. Uh, we also need to get our filter ready. And what I, what I mean by that is the filter needs to be clean and washed because we don't want that paper taste in our coffee. So what I like to do is I like to take my paper filter and I like to put creases in it and I'll show you what this is going to look like. I crease along the bottom 
and the crease along the side. And what I'm doing here is I'm just making it easy for that filter to fit into the coffee machine. These extra tabs kind of make it difficult for that coffee filter to sit flat. And then once you put this filter in your filter basket, you rinse it out, run some water over it, it's gonna look like that. So it's gonna be nice and flat against the edges of the uh, filter basket. All right, let's grind up some coffee. All right, we've got our coffee ground. This is now gonna go into the filter basket. Since we did do an exact measurement, you wanna make sure you get all the grounds into the filter basket. Because again, we're dealing with a specific ratio of water to coffee here. Once you get that loaded in, the other thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure the bed of your coffee is flat and level. So I'm gonna just tap this basket here and make sure that I've got a nice flat basket and uh, the bed of coffee is get that way the, the water that's gonna go through this coffee bed is gonna extract evenly on the left and the right sides in the center. You don't want mounds of coffee in the center or mounds of coffee around the edge because that's gonna give you coffee that's not extracted properly. So we load this up. Oh, and, and one more thing, guys. You know, a, a lot of times you'll you'll see these coffee scoops. You want to avoid these because some coffee is going to weigh more than others. And since coffee is a science, it's it's really you know it's got to be exact numbers, exact ratios to get the best tasting product. Uh, this is not going to give you the weight of the coffee. This is by volume. So some beans are heavier than others. Some have more moisture still in them. Some are roasted heavier. That's going to take moisture out. So avoid using these guys and, and just stick to the kitchen scale. It's going to be a great investment, 10, 15 bucks on Amazon for a kitchen scale, uh, and you'll be in good shape. All right, so we've got our flat level coffee bed. We've got our water, water in. We're just going to turn the machine on. That's all there is to it. We're good to go. All right, guys, when your coffee's done brewing, on this particular brewer, I've got a uh, valve to shut off the flow of water. And that's just to prevent any water that's still in those coffee grounds from dripping into this uh, carafe. Because once it gets done brewing, we want to stop the brewing process and just pour and enjoy. Cheers. Thanks for watching and stay safe.